G'day guys, today's the day. I'm not gonna stop until I've got these side panels glued up minus the legs. So I wanna get the bottom rail, the top rail, and the slats all glued together, and then I can tomorrow I can put the legs onto that. That's the plan, Jan. If it doesn't happen, I won't be around tomorrow. I'll be here, don't you worry about that. Even if it kills me. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Let's get some super slow-mo shots, we'll roll some nice music, and we'll make this plane look sexy. At least I'll try to. Like, I can't really make much look sexy around here. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> So this is the lower rail assembly. That top surface, although there's going to be a whole bunch of slats through there, every gap between those slats is going to be a visible surface. So I want this to be smooth and clean. However, this surface is also a joinery face. So if I was to plane this too much or sand it too much and roll those corners over, I'm ruining the visual appearance of the joint. So at this point in time, I know that this board is actually crowned up a little bit so I'm going to take a little bit more off the middle than what I take off the ends and then after that I'll check it with a straight edge along the length to make sure that it's still flat. Then I'll just check that it's still flat. That's looking mighty good to me. So is that. And so is that. Couldn't have done better if I tried. Because I wasn't even trying. <laughs> and that's enough video footage of me sanding. Sanding sucks. I'm not going to put you guys through it, but I have to do it. So I have to think about how I'm going to get this thing glued up. It's not going to be the easiest glue up in the world. Just these side panels. I've got a leg on each side. That's two components. The bottom assembly and the top rail. That's another two components. So four components. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slats. So that's 12 components. The slats themselves have five dowels in each. So that's 40 dowels that I need to do just to get the bottom rail and top rail and slats together. That's a big glue up. Might not seem like a lot of work, but when you're trying to get it done within five minutes or six minutes as the glue dries, that's a lot of work to get done. There's not a chance in hell I'll ever, I'll ever get that kind of work done. So what I'll do, I'm going to put the dowels into this 
into this surface and into this surface first with a little bit of glue. I don't need a lot of glue as you saw that the joint itself holds itself together and because these slats are going to sit there, top rail over the top and the legs that come on the side of that holding this and the top rail at a set distance apart, these are actually captured. So if I wanted to make the argument that I don't need glue at all, I could make that argument, I'd be wrong, but I'm not that far wrong. So I just want to put a little bit of glue in each of these holes, tap in a dowel, and I'll put that aside to dry. Then I can come back and put each of these slats on top of those dowels with, with glue as well. And I'll just put a clamp over each one and let them dry for about 20 minutes. What, the, what happens there is I'll, ha I'll end up having this bottom rail assembly plus the slats joined, to, joined together as one. I've just removed something like um, 24, com 24 connections from the glue up. From there, using these rails, I'll sit that on top. And so now I have 16 connections that I need to make in one go within about the five minute, five minute mark. I can do that. I'm confident that, I'm confident that I can do that. So, instead of standing here sanding these bloody things, I want to quickly sand this so that I can put the dowels in top, in the top, and put that aside to dry. And I'll do that to all of these rails. That's what I'll do. Smooth as silk. That's it. So I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. What I need to do is I need to glue on some blocks that are cut to the same angle as this thing here to sit under there so that when I try to clamp this up that face there sits square and then you'll have the bottom assembly down there and the slats inside there. So I, I, this is what I was trying to avoid doing yes, uh, yesterday or the day before but it turns out I have to do it anyway because I, I need to be able to pull the two panels together with the slats inside. Slip him in there and press it down just a little bit. Oh, quick, now do the other ones. To alleviate any glue squeeze out or swollen dowel at the joint here because I put water-based glue all over it, I've gone through and put a slight countersink in around these holes to give it to give it a little bit of relief. So now I can put some glue in these holes without putting too much on because I don't want too much glue on this. I don't want any squeeze out on the face here. There's no point putting glue on this face there because it's an end grain to long grain connection. It's not worth anything. I just want glue in the holes and I want the glue to stay in the hole. So as little glue as possible because it's not that critical. So then I just want to place it in there, roughly square with my lines here. Clamp over the top, keep them square. All right, one down. 16 to go or something like that 15 to go oh and this is an important tip these holes that were drilled into here they were the exact depth that those dowels go all the way to the bottom these holes here they're the good they're the best part of about a quarter inch longer than what those dowels are hanging out that allows the glue to be pushed up inside the hole rather than creating a what a blowhole effect and having the glue squeeze back out at me making a mess and by now I'm sure you know that I don't like glue squeeze out at all. I'm sure you're surprised that I haven't blue taped this entire thing. I can honestly say I thought about it, but it's too much work. Oh. 